Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover, from a viral post on Twitter about Eminem that turned out to be peak self-owned, to more from the Jack Hollow drama that started when the world found out he didn't know Brandy and Ray J are siblings. And it's been a tough few days for Jack since he dropped his album and now he's catching some hands from Brandy. More on this in a bit. We also have more from King Crooked who made a huge announcement that caught many by surprise when this popped up online. Disaster vs King Crooked presented by GTX. Yo, Diz, I hate it had to be you, homie. I really do. But I want all the smoke, you know that. COV. Of course, this has sparked reactions across platforms. And over on Reddit, for instance, a user states, This is crazy. Crook might be the best industry dude to jump in there. And I believe, according to Crook back in the day, he blocked a couple of rappers from getting signed to Shug because they had to battle him to secure a deal. So there's that. And to this, a user response, definitely, is the best suited. Cannibals and Cassidy should have worked out, but both of them were outdated and a throwback to a bygone era of battle rap. Button didn't belong at all. And on this platform, for instance, a user states, holy moly, this is gonna be crazy, fire emojis. Does this mean Royce might jump in next? To which a user responds, Royce don't want no smoke with no battlers. Make it facts this him on wax and Royce didn't even respond. There's no way he's ever jumping in the ring. But I believe this encapsulates most reactions when they saw the news. Holy ish, holy freaking ish. Moving on to the next point, it's been a tough couple of days, depending on how you look at it, for Jack Harlow, based on social media reception, his album wasn't well received and many on Twitter for instance were going viral by simply crapping on Jack Harlow. It failed to meet sales projections, debuted at number 3 instead of number 1. Critics also slammed his album, based on 7 critic reviews, it's at 52. But more importantly, users on the platform rated it even lower at 3.6 and on Metacritic some users believe it's actually a really great album, rap Twitter and community just decided to hate him from now on for some reason. We get it, he's white. But something happened that took the hate to another level when this interview popped up linked to Ray J and Brandy. They played a song and he couldn't recognize the artist. And when it was brought up that her brother made an entanglement tape with Kim Kardashian, all hell broke loose when Jack Harlow asked, Who's Ray J's sister? Oh my God! Who's Ray J's sister? <laughs> Yo, it's fat. He's serious. He's yeah, serious. I know that's... Yo, he's 24. I didn't know they were siblings. Who is it? It's, it's you didn't know Brandy and, Brandy Ray, and Ray J are siblings? siblings? Yes. yes. Wow. Nobody's ever told me that in my life. You just found that out today? Nobody's Yo, ever amazing. told me that. Wow. Yo, give it up for Jack Harlow. Love you, Jack Harlow. Yo, that is amazing. Yo, oh, that was Yo no, I loved it. Y'all got a good clip on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Ray J and Brandy are siblings? I had no idea, bro. Yeah. We, just did, we just did an hour and a half of great content. It's just only going to say... Jack Harlow didn't know Ray J and Brandy were siblings. Of course, this added to the negative reception and popular comments like not recognizing Brandy's voice is why he shouldn't be doing black music. And check this out, I'm black wouldn't recognize Brandy's voice at all, laughing emoji, and it's all or nothing for some of these people. A user responds, slide that card on over. For some reason, I heard that in You ain't black. Ironic because it's a shame that these people stopped supporting Brandy's career for nearly two decades. Aphrodisiac, her last album to earn certification in the United States, dropped in 2004, and for some context, Jack Harlow is right on 24, but somehow she's now the standard used to measure who gets to make rap slash hip hop music. And Brandy recently reacted to a viral clip adding, I will murk this dude in a rap at 43 on his own beats and then sing his bomb to sleep. Perhaps a bit over the top as some have reacted. Baby is 24, all he said was he didn't know y'all was siblings. And over on IG, some popular reactions on the reports on this, Merc loudly crying emojis. Clearly, Brandy got her black forces on today. But some believe, girl, go sit down, laughing emoji. If he didn't know, he didn't know, loudly crying emoji. But Brandy clarified a few moments ago on Twitter in response to this. Not you sat on this for a few days and now deciding to reply after he died down. It's not that deep. And Brandy claims she was just joking in response to this. I know I'm mad late, but it was a joke, love. I didn't know he rapped, so I was just spoken, laughing emoji. But I see now this was a big thing a few days ago. Well, save your thoughts on this drama for the comments later. And moving on, some viral posts on Twitter crapping on Eminem turned out to be a dope source of laughter. It started with this. Eminem's discography is crazy because you can have any album as your favorite and it will be bum. Now, this is more evidence that you can literally say anything negative about Eminem to get a hit tweet 
as his detractors are focused on liking and retweeting hate posts regardless of how ridiculous it sounds. And check this out that uncovered the cell phone. A user states, Eminem influenced you and you didn't even know it. Check this out, it says, Stan account. And some believe some changes are on the way. Be about to change his entire bio right about now. And this one reminds me of the classic a while back, when a page that goes by something like Ariana Grande Stan stated that they can't believe people still stand Eminem. But that's enough jokes for today. Share your thoughts on these topics below. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoy content like this. And see you on the next one.